is up, everybody? TC here with Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, and today we've got some really cool stuff for you, and we've got a really great feature. Uh, we're going to be interviewing CJ from Glow Rhino. CJ, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me, TC. Appreciate it, man. Absolutely. You guys put out some amazing products. Before we get started, though, and get too deep in that, uh, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you will know when we drop new videos and introduce you to really cool people in the industry like CJ. Now, without further ado, let's light it up. So, uh, we've got CJ here from Glow Rhino. CJ, again, thank you so much for joining us. The stuff you guys are putting out is really, really cool. And I want to talk about all of these different things um, individually. But first, before we get started in all of the products that you guys uh, actually uh, have here, I want to talk about um, kind of the inspiration behind it and kind of where you guys got started uh, with this product, where, where you got the idea uh, to use tritium. I know for me personally, uh, my first introduction into tritium is like most people. It was with Trigicon ACOGs and with uh, handgun night sights and things like that. So that was my first introduction into tritium and its practical everyday uses. Um, but using them on knives, especially in the way that you guys have done, is really cool. So I wanted to, to talk about kind of your background and how you got started in that and what gave you the inspiration to actually use tritium uh, for knives. Absolutely. So uh, background on us, most people know tritium from uh, the uses, like you said, like gun sights um, and compasses. Our sister yep. company, Kamenga, makes the military's compass and has since 1992. And in each GI compass, there are seven tritium vials uh, to enable low light navigation. Right. So we've been working with tritium for 30 years. Wow. And you're kind of behind the scenes um, offering it as a service for the last, you know, 13 or so years. Uh, and we got into gun sites and the, the common uses. And we said this stuff is uh, really valuable to us. Um, we like and we started doing it in our garages and putting it into you know, Swiss Army knives and into uh, thumb studs for our Benchmade bug outs. And we said, you know what, we're dropping our knives in our gym bags or in our go bags or range packs, and we can't find it fast. And we said, yeah, obviously, it's there's a benefit to put it on keys and just commonly used items that we use every day. And we're in the dark a lot. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, so, half of our lives were spent at least in the dark. That's right. That's right. Sometimes worse if you're in Alaska. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> well played. Absolutely. Um, that's fantastic. So, uh, I mean, obviously born of, uh, of a necessity to find your items, whether it's your keys, your knife, whatever it may be. Right. And um, then from there, so you started out, I'm guessing, making accessories for other knives like Benchmade. We've got some here, Spyderco, um, and also the keychains as well. When sure. did you actually start designing your own knives? So we started designing our own knife. Um, the reactor that you have there in, in the satin, uh, that was about two and a half years ago. And um, working with some other designers and uh, figuring out all right, what's the most, uh, how do you make it aesthetically pleasing? Uh, find that good match between uh, you know, form and function with the tritium and obviously making it a high quality knife with the S35 VN blade, the titanium yeah. frame lock handles. Uh, those were kind of the methodologies behind it. That's fantastic. And uh, you guys designed these in-house. Mm -hmm. You've also got the all black version, which is, which is really, really cool. Really got one right that here thing. Too. Yes. Nice. And so these have the tritium inserts on both sides of the handle scales there. That's correct. Now so you're not sure you're not sure how you're going to drop it. You know, so absolutely, yeah. It helps to have it on both sides. Some people have a notion that it's like an LED. Right. It, no. It's not no. that bright. Right. Um, it's not a flashlight. But when your eyes have adjusted and it's very low light setting, it, they're quite bright. And yeah. to your point too, um, these large rectangular vials. It's a fifty millicurie. You know, that's the activity level of vial uh, because of that surface area and because of that level of activity 
it's, yeah. it packs a punch in that short, you know, surface area there. Absolutely. And so, uh, how did you go about choosing which knives you were going to, um, create accessories for like the, like the bug out, uh, the pair of three. I mean, I'm guessing those are ones that are, I guess you could probably say the most popular in the industry. Some of the most sure. popular. Sure. And, um, I mean, especially when it comes to the bug out, that's one that a lot of people have, but it's also going to be one that's extremely popular to have in a go bag or something like that in a dark place. Uh, so one that you're going to be reaching for, I guess, more often than, you know, just in your pocket. Sure. Absolutely. Well, we first, we looked inward. We always want to have, um, you know, a customer of one and if I'll use it, then hopefully other people will want to use it. And uh, I'm a big Benchmade fan. So that made it easy uh, to start. But obviously, they're popular. Right. Um, the way that Benchmade has their, their thumb studs, they're easy to self-install. Yep. And it's the most functional location for the tritium because it's you know used so much and you need to locate it. So that was uh, the methodology there. And um, my other engineer, he's, he's a big Spyderco guy. Nice. So I was like, all right, PM2, got to do PM3. <laughs> Let's... Let's start. Let's start it that way, and then you know now we're starting to expand to other things. Absolutely. Now I, I will say I, I actually got myself, um, and I'm going to throw in some B-roll here of me installing uh, my own uh, thumb studs on my own Benchmade bug out, uh, which is one of our exclusives, and, and I really dig that thing. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to get to the actual access lock before we sold out of it. I mean, we sold out of the the bug out access lock insanely fast, so sure. um, I mean, we're we're definitely going to be uh, ordering some more of those because those went insanely fast, and I, I I was like, no, I wanted it too. I needed to complete the look, but we also our custom shop here did make up uh, some samples here of the bug outs uh, fully outfitted. And this is one of our bug outs here that our custom shop has outfitted and signed off on. Um, so here's an example of, of some of the stuff you guys make. So you've got the axis lock with the tritium vial in it. You've also got the thumb stud with the tritium vial in it. And you've also got the handle scales there with the mm -hmm. tritium on both sides. Right. And I, I tell you what, I mean, this thing is is really slick, the way this thing is decked out. I, I absolutely love having all of the elements there all at one time. Um, and I'm looking forward to actually getting the axis lock to put on mine to go along with the thumb studs. Um, and you've also got them in the black version here with the handle scales. Right. And, and we're then, actually just launching very soon um, our third size of the axis lock for the for the mini grip talion. nice and then we're gonna have all three sizes in both a satin like you have there and a black awesome that's fantastic so people can really get the color combinations that they want absolutely and you can customize it however you want that's that's one of exactly. the things that i'm the biggest proponent of i love because and that's one thing that all of us that are into the edc community that kind of thing we all love personalizing our items and making it something different than anybody else has. And I mean, for sure. this is a fantastic product for that. And it's useful at the same time. That's, that's what's really cool about it. Uh, it makes it very neat and unique, but it also makes it very personal and it makes it uh, very usable as well. So we've also got the same uh, color coordinations here with the uh, spider co we've got the, the tan there as well as the black uh, for the PM three. And uh, really dig those as well. And those handle scales feel good. I mean, the, the the texture on them is great. It's not too aggressive, but it's also not slippery at all either. It's, it's I mean, I tell you what, just right. So you guys have done a really good job developing that. Thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Now, as far as your, as far as your knife design, um, you hinted, you talked about it a little bit, but uh, where did the inspiration from that design actually come from? Sure. So um, as a team, we wanted to have kind of a contemporary look, uh, really an EDC uh, for for guys who wear jeans or they're wearing, you know, nicer pants to work or to, you know, function or to go hiking, whatever. So we wanted a really slim, really sleek, um, kind of an elegant look to it. Uh, it just lined up with our brand and, you know, really the aesthetics we were going for. 
and you know, we add in that frame lock. It, it really just put it over the top. The flipper is, has got a great action to it. Yeah. You know, we got the ceramic ball bearing in there. And it's it just the technology of the tritium, putting it into knives. This one really had to be kind of a, a modern design. Uh, th- that was our, our initiative, at least. Absolutely. And I tell you what, this thing is, it's nice and slim. It's very lightweight. But it's also substantial at the same time. It's extremely sure. solid, and uh, really like that. Also, and I mean the way the flippers designed so that you can actually choke up on it if you want to. And sure. I really like that, especially you know being able to get you know if you got some sort of precise cut that you need to make or something like that. Also, the attention to detail with the uh, the tail end here with the backspacer and the integrated lanyard to lanyard loop there. Um, just love that design there. Fantastic job on that. And, of course, I'm a huge fan of S35VN. I, I think that's one of the best all-around blade steels that there is. And, uh, I mean, really puts this knife over the top as far as build quality and materials. So, really love that thing. Thank you. And so, uh, even beyond that, uh, in the EDC realm, uh, you guys also not only do uh, knife accessories, but you also have some keychains as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, and I think that is one of the most useful tools and one of the most underrated that you guys produce. Absolutely. Um, Because how many times have we dropped our keys in a gym bag or even just at night in the floorboard of a car or something like that or in the cup holder? How many times have we gone to look for our keys and it's been in the dark and you can't find them? For sure. Yeah, what what we... So that's we call it our glow fob. That the one you have in your hand is our steel version, all right. black, nitride coated. That's our firearms background, you know, coating. Uh, the beauty with that is you can put it on a zipper pull, you can put it on your dog's collar, you can put it on keys. Um, to your point, TC, we're doing things in the dark all the time. In the morning, late at night, we waste a lot of time doing that. What we want everyone to try to do is try out the products whether it's that fob or our titanium version, um, and just have that experience. That first moment where the tritium saves them for finding their keys or their knife or their, you know, whatever accessory they connect it to is that moment when I know they're going to see the value of tritium. And then they're going to come back and, and look for other things and say, hey, Glow Rhino, what, what can we do next? Absolutely. Because it's, it's that one, especially people who aren't familiar with our compasses with tritium or the gun sites with tritium like you are, there's so many knife guys that just they're not into firearms right or they're you know they're just not familiar with tritium let's say absolutely so that one that first moment where they lose their keys and they try our 20 dollar ember fob yeah and it locates it immediately in their glove compartment their center console or underneath the floorboards that's when we know they like the tritium they appreciate the tritium they get it they get this, they get the initiative here yeah I think that's absolutely awesome. And and more to your point, too, I mean, there's a lot of people that, you know, don't have the experience with the firearms because they don't, you know, have the ability to have firearms. So uh, sure. actually seeing the benefits of something like this outside of that realm is, is phenomenal. Um, so you hinted at it earlier. Uh, have you guys got anything new in the works, anything that you're coming out with soon? We do. We do. So those, uh, the axis locks and then the thumb studs will be available for bug out in black and satin. Um, we just launched our light bringer knife, which you guys, you guys are working on. Yes. Um, which is a solid. We worked with Ferrum forge on that. Elliot designed that and, uh, it's actually manufactured by we knives. Yep. And we got tritium in the thumb stud and tritium in the backspacer on that. And I'll leave you with that backspacer component being something that we're working on beyond just the light bringer. Ooh. So that could be cool coming up. And then, um, you know, we just launched this waypoint compass here. Nice. So you got tritium in the north arrow, tritium in the, the base of the cup, our backgrounds in making compasses. So we know what we were doing here with experience wise. And it's, you know, you can take it on your hike, you can take it camping, and it glows like a son of a gun. Absolutely. You're not going to get lost out there. Now, wh- on, that, uh, on that new compass there, what's the, what's the price point on that? This is uh, $50, $49.99 retail. Nice. 
That's a that's a great deal for I mean something that could possibly save your life. I mean, especially sure. if you're talking about somebody that's out in the wilderness a lot, um, you know, especially working rescue teams or something like that, or even if you're uh, out hiking a lot, if you're going to do the Appalachian Trail or something like that. I mean, that's a, a, a fantastic deal. And actually, uh, Greg that works here um, is actually a scout leader now uh, for oh, his son's Boy Scouts. And, I mean, something like that is going to be a phenomenal tool, especially sure. among Boy Scouts and scout leaders out there um, trying to teach wayfinding and, and things like that because you're not always going to have daylight to work by. Right. So It's absolutely true. And it's machined aluminum. Uh, and there's two vials, like I said. You know, it's, not, it's not a Cracker Jack. <laughs> uh, button so it's you know you can you can take it out with you on your um you know your nicer c- civilian experiences or when you're out rucking around and <laughs> right absolutely well cj thank you again so much uh for joining My us pleasure. today and for giving us a background on all of your products here and uh, giving us the inspiration because i mean that's one thing for me and i know a lot of our fans really enjoy is is being able to put a face with the name and and being able to really connect with the brand and uh, we really appreciate that now as far as social media goes and as far as your new product releases uh where can people go to see the new stuff that you guys are coming out with Sure. The best way is to follow us on social and sign up for our email list. Uh, we're starting to do some limited release stuff. So like that fob, we're going to do some cool materials and colors and tritium colors, et cetera, all limited release. Uh, so definitely sign up for the emails and follow us on social. And we'll do some cool drops here soon. Glow Rhino yeah. acro- across the board. And you can see all their upsta- updates, especially on Instagram. So, sure. I mean, definitely check that out. That way you can get updates on the new products coming out. And uh, folks, as always, it's been me, TC, here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. And remember, if it cuts at the Glow Rhino, then we care. Let's light it up. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs>